Here is the man of the show. Watch. Look at him. Eating the pellets. Doom. Yeah. Popping him on the surface. Oh, yeah. Oh. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. We got to take care of a little business first before we get into the title of the video. Then we're going to show you guys exactly how our Panther Gruber eats and how awesome he is. But first, the winner of the shout out. That was a great comment. I'll put your comment right here. Love the video idea. That's awesome. We may do that in a, video, in a future video. So, if you guys got any other great ideas, go down in the comments, give us a video idea, and we will shout you guys out the winner in our next video. So, let's hop right into the business first, and then I'll show you guys our awesome Panther Grouper. Let's do it. So, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about our lionfish here. We've had him in here for a couple of weeks. We actually got him a week before we posted our lionfish video. We got him the week prior. So, he's been in here for a couple weeks, and. The grouper and him, they have not been fighting at all. They've been perfectly fine, but he's just stressed out for some reason. I think it's because the grouper loves to swim on the top and is just like freaking him out a little bit and he won't eat at all. So we don't want to keep him in here if he's just going to not eat and just starve to death. So you can tell when he's laying in the corner, the lionfish is always looking at him and he, he won't eat because he's so nervous about the, the grouper. So because he's not eating and everything, my friend Will, he's, a, he's the one who had that big lionfish in his tank. He wants another lionfish, and this one's a lot smaller, so you can actually house this one. So he quickly, when I called him and I told him about it, he said 100% I'll take it. So what we're going to do is we're going to give this guy to Will right here. We're going to take this lionfish out of this tank and right over to Will's and drop him off at his house because I'd rather him have a shot at, in Will's tank than starve in this tank. So we're going to get this guy out right now. I want to be careful with his spines here. Get in the freaking net. Okay, I need to be really careful here. Here we go. There we go. No! No! Got him! In the tank, or in the bucket without touching his spines. Thank God, dude. I did not want to die from a lionfish. Now let's get him over to Will's in a nice tank for him. He's gonna be so happy in there, all by himself. Let's do it. There is Mufasa right in there. I don't know if you guys can see him, it's the glare, but we are heading over to our buddy Will's house. He's gonna have a good life in that tank and uh will's excited to have a new lionfish all right guys here is will's new pet this is will's house he's gonna be so excited let's go uh give it to him hi hi i know nice to meet you nice to meet you all right guys here is the lionfish for will take good care of him i will I thank guess. you come on bro. let's go finish the video to start things off look at this guy Look at this little dude right here. This little snapping turtle. He's our only turtle and uh, we have a bunch of fish tanks, but as you guys took a glance at this snapping turtle right here, you guys are probably like, what's all that stuff on top of the water? So I guess last night, a frog came and laid more eggs in here. So currently right now, like this morning, they were just little, little black dots, like little poppy seeds it looked like. And um, I knew it was, uh, frog eggs because this has happened in the past before and now they're like turning into tadpoles they're like getting long and uh i don't know if it's going to be able to focus up on them but yeah it's catching the rocks instead of the actual tadpoles but they're turning into tadpoles literally in front of my eyes i can see them start moving it's absolutely insane to see like nature happen current currently like right in front of your eyes and something that you put together and uh it's pretty wild and uh for all you newcomers, this is our this is our pond, and I think we're gonna make this whole thing a pond this summer. But we just gotta figure everything out, all the filtration and whatnot. But we have a bunch of awesome, awesome fish. So uh, yeah, if you guys are new, welcome. It's an awesome channel. You guys should subscribe. So we have these cute little tortoises in here. I don't want to bug them too bad, but that's a Hermans and a Redfoot. That's Chester and Myrtle. But um, for today's video that you guys all clicked on is about my vegan panther grouper. Now, when you hear grouper, you guys are probably all thinking, oh, this aggressive only eats meat, only eats live fish, only eats anything that can fit in its mouth. But our little guy that we just got, that's not him, brother. That is not him. It's pretty amazing. I thought I'd have to share it with you guys. So let's go upstairs right now and I'll show you this vegan panther grouper. All right, you guys. This is where our vegan panther grouper stays right up here. This is our only 75 gallon saltwater community tank up here. And uh, it is a little dirty. Algae does grow on these tanks. As you can see, there's a little bit of algae right here. But here is the man of the show right here. 
this little baby panther grouper that I named PG and he's in here with all these all these community fish and uh, we went ahead and when we saw this little guy we're like oh we got to get him because panther groupers are my personal probably favorite saltwater fish ever and this guy is just a little baby we got him like the size of my thumbnail and uh, he's gotten a little bigger but usually these guys are like I said are supposed to eat shrimp and fish and anything that they can fit in their mouth but this guy is not like that wherever he went right there he is not like that we got these little pellets right here i'm gonna go ahead and open these guys up just so you guys can see what it looks like so let me do this with one hand without spilling it there we go look at he sees the pellets i gotta clean that piece of glass right there that's really really green okay all right now that we got that cleaned off a little bit more here are the pellets right here look at these little things just these little pellets right here and uh, all these fish absolutely love them and they're ready to eat right now since they see me right next to the tank. Watch, if I go like this, look at them. Look at them, they all come up. So, I'm gonna go ahead and grab just a little pinch of these. Go ahead and drop it in here and watch. Watch this panda grouper. Here he comes. Watch. Look at him. Eating the pellets. Doom. Popping them on the surface. Look how cool that is. He absolutely loves these little pellets more than he likes the little brine shrimp because when we first got them, he, we tried feeding him just brine, he wouldn't touch it, and then as soon as we started throwing pellets in here, he started eating. I don't know if they were just feeding him pellets at the fish store or what, but this guy is just a pellet muncher. Look at it, he's about to pop one. Let me throw some more in there. Here we go, buddy. Go get him, go get him, go get him. Oh yeah, look at it, pop. Go get him off the surface. Get him off the surface. Go, buddy. There you go, he's popping him. Yeah, look how cool that is, guys. He's so cool, and this thing's gonna grow to be rather large, and we have big fish tanks, so we're gonna have them for quite some time. I'm really happy about this guy, that he's eating pellets, because we could probably feed him pellets till he gets a little bit bigger. We can always just up the size of the pellets, and uh, it'd be awesome. But yeah, this is our vegan panther grouper right here. His name's PG, and uh, these are all his little tank mates in here, in this beautiful little 75-gallon fish tank. I really hope you guys enjoyed our little PG upstairs and now I'm going to show you how a real big angry grouper really eats and uh, eventually I'm hoping this guy upstairs is going to eat like this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and grab a little piece of tilapia right here and see if he wants to go ahead and eat for us because I'd love for you guys to see how cool it is for a big angry grouper. Ready? Oh yeah. Oh, just like that. Crushed the whole piece, but look how beautiful that fish is. He's kind of skittish whenever I come up here with the camera, but that thing is just neon orange with those beautiful blue dots. Absolutely insane. I'm gonna grab another piece right here for him. He's looking at me. He's literally, he's literally watching me tear off this piece. Maybe he'll hand feed. What do you guys think? All right, buddy. Do you want it? Oh, the eel wants it. All right, I'm just gonna drop it. Oh, the eel snagged it. That eel's big. If any of you guys are wondering, that is a Tessalata more eel. He's gonna get huge in here. We've only had him for about six months and he's tripled his size. Look at this guy. I'm gonna turn up this light so you guys can see just a little bit better. But like I said, once he smells the food, it is just, it's on. It is on. So, oh yeah, he wants to eat. Ready? Come on. Oh, no, he doesn't want it. Okay, that's awkward. All right, I'll try another piece. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna try another piece right here. And, um, oh, the eel just got that one. The eel just got that piece off the rock. That was sweet. Okay, this is extremely hard to rip off with one hand. Okay, here we go. Another piece right here just to see if this grouper wants to eat one more time. But I'm thinking the eel is probably just gonna get it. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh! That eel is out of control. That thing is so cool. And we have a baby eel in the tank behind me, but we're going to make a cool video on him eating, so I don't want to show you guys that just yet. But we also have this albino sturgeon. I want to see if he's going to eat tilapia. Let me go ahead and see. Let's see. I'm going to drop this. Just what I thought. Just what I thought. The Oscars and the peacock are just going to go ahead and destroy it. And now here comes one-eyed Willie. This is our big platinum red tail right here. He just smelt the food, and he wants to come in and just suck everything up that's here so eventually we'll get a feeding video on this sturgeon and uh there's a whole lot of content coming on this channel 
If you guys like what you saw, go down, subscribe, leave a like, and um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and I'll see you guys in our next video. Peace.